Yeah, so first, um, I'd like to share uh, this paper that I wrote last um, spring uh, called Corporate Editors in the Evolving Landscape of OpenStreetMap. Um, I'm going to go through uh, a little bit about what it was, uh, the, re the results, um, and uh, try to do that in like five minutes. Um, okay, so I wrote this paper uh, with Deepto Sarkar at the National University of Singapore and Leisha Palin uh, at University of Colorado Boulder. Um, and uh, yeah, it's called Corporate Editors in the Evolving Landscape of OpenStreetMap. Um, and so this is about corporate editing. Uh, corporate editing uh, is about data teams. And these are teams of employees uh, that edit the map as part of their profession. Um, as a, see a handful of data team people in here. Um, whoop, sorry, there we go. Um, this is a form of uh, what the community is calling organized editing. Uh, this is an, kind of an all-encompassing label to describe groups of contributors editing with a, with a common goal um, in a unified manner. Um, and this is uh, what I found to be the latest stage in the evolution of corporate involvement in OSM. This is certainly isn't the beginning of corporate involvement in OSM, but rather a new uh, stage in the evolution. Um, and finally, uh, if you've been following the mailing list and such, uh, it can be a little bit contentious uh, in the community. I think that some people are very suspicious of corporate intent, data use, uh, the mailing list can be uh, a little heated. <laughs> um, and so last November, the foundation released the organized editing guidelines. Uh, and one requirement in these guidelines is that organized editing teams maintain a list of usernames associated with their activities. Um, and so this time last year, each of these companies uh, were maintaining lists of usernames for their data teams. And so these became the 10 uh, companies that we were studying. So Amazon, Apple, DevSeed, Facebook, Grab, Cart, Mapbox, Microsoft, Telenav, and Uber. I keep doing that, sorry. Um, and so here's an example of uh, like a username list. Um, and as you can see here, uh, this page has over 100 uh, revisions. And so the data teams are um, uh, keeping these lists up to date with who the members are. Um, and so that, uh, that's great. That lets us kind of track it and we can then create this. And this is a map of where these 10 corporations have been contributing uh, since 2014. Sorry. Um, so we can break this down uh, by the corporation. Um, nothing's too surprising here. Uh, we see Facebook uh, has basically all of Thailand is glowing there. Um, Microsoft's been really interested in uh, Australia, um, something I didn't know at the time. Uh, and we see uh, Mapbox, Apple, Cart, um, a lot of kind of just full globe uh, interest. So here's what the numbers look like. Um, since 2014, there's about 17 million edits total um, uh, by about 1,000 different contributors. Uh, if we break it out by object type and then by year, um, we see that, two th and this only, I only had data going up to 2019. Um, yeah, uh, pretty impressive, uh, the amount of uh, roads edited and new buildings uh, collectively across all the corporations um, in 2018. Um, okay, so next we looked at the percentage of the total editing activity data teams are responsible uh, for in the areas where they're active, um, kind of on average around the globe. So there's a lot of information contained um, in here. Um, I guess one of the, yeah, so I can, go, I can talk to you about those later if you're, if you're interested specifically, but um, maybe the big takeaway is if you take, this is the kind of complement to that. Um, and this is saying that for areas where corporate teams are active, on average, data teams are responsible, are now responsible for uh, about 70% of the road editing um, on average around the globe. Um, Non-corporate editors, however, are still responsible for the majority of all edits, about 70%. So this includes the rest of the edits of the buildings, POIs, amenities, et cetera. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, again, this is only this is the average of the areas where corporate editing is happening. So this isn't just a global average, but where it's happening rather. Um, I just think this is really fun. Uh, if you look at like this, is just the Facebook team, but all the teams look like this. Um, if you plot edits per day, you find uh, these kind of 52 groups representing five day weeks <laughs> with a couple three day weekends. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, okay. So what's next? So uh, really tried to kind of take a step back and be really objective about this. And I didn't want to get into the politics of corporate editing as much as get into the history, um, quantify it, describe what's happening, um, where it's happening. And um, next step is to dig in uh, deeper into like what is the larger impact on the map, communities, um, and that's not necessarily what we measured, but this is where my current work um, is looking. So yeah, I have um, a couple kind of questions that I'm trying to look into right now um, on the future of corporate editing and, and OSM and where this is all going. So with that, uh, thank you. If you want to read the whole paper, um, it's open access at that address um, or find me this weekend and I'd love to talk more about it. <laughs>